What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I just want to explain updates on the Hawk. I know people ask for updates on the Hawk and I'm going to give you a quick update. Where do we sit mods wise? Where do we sit mods wise? Not much has changed at all. Uh, COVID kind of screwed the whole year, but we're coming back at it. Um, I guess uh, from the last video, if you paid attention, we have a JLT intake. We have a Demon Supercharger for uh, fuel rails, 1200 injectors custom painted everything here um, as it sits you know not much really done um, i never really even got the chance to pulley down on this setup yet uh, just because of the whole covid crap screwing everything up but that's going to change that's going to change pretty good uh, the car gets dropped off tomorrow to repetuned my buddy's going to drop it off for me so i'll get a little clip of him driving away one of the few very few people I would trust to drive my Hawk, I can tell you that much. Just wanted to show you the condition of her. She's doing pretty dang good, except now she's loaded. <laughs> what the hell's back there? So, a few things are getting changed. Uh, number one, I'm taking my Corsa Extreme exhaust off. I can tell you that from the get-go, from the very beginning, trying to get that Corsa to work with the Stainless Works Catless Mids was a giant pain in the ass. There needed to be custom fabbing, uh, and I don't know what the issue was between the setup. It just never mated well for me. I don't know what exactly happened uh, with it. I don't want to venture into figuring it out. So I'm basically taking the Corsa Extreme off with the Vibrant Resonators, which is the setup I have now. We're putting the Borla Attack and the black tips on there with no resonators. So it will be louder. Um, and that those will mount to the stainless works catalyst mids so hopefully we get rid of this annoying very very annoying rattling noise that i have in the back which i just truly can't stand i will miss the uh ever so large tips but i'm going from a four and a half inch uh tip set up to a four inch so it's not going to be the end of the world i also have a billet tech thermostat housing that I also had custom painted to match that. Um, I'm going to try after the car comes back from Ripa to put this uh, Mighty Mouse catch can that I also had a custom color match bracket as well as my strut tower brace bar which I also had custom color matched for the engine bay. So there's tons and tons and tons of things to do. Um, with the engine bay still. I can't talk about the mods uh, until it comes back, but as far as the engine bay aesthetics go, it will look cleaner. As some of you know, I am on full ethanol only E85 for over a year, so we're gonna be putting in a ethanol content gauge just so I could basically keep track of, you know, the content. Uh, I'm gonna be pulling down and getting a complete retune because the tune I have the tuner is no longer available for me and no longer needed by me, so I don't want to get too much into that. And we are putting a performance development DIRS diff brace on the Hawk, which is pretty friggin' awesome. So yeah, I had a lot of plans for this. This particular visit was going to be balls to the wall. It really was. Uh, a lot has changed a lot has changed when the car comes back i'm going to discuss what we actually did and where we stand now at this point uh realistically like i said a lot changed and my feelings have changed I, it's just a lot of things have have gone on but obviously i love the hawk and uh i want to you know still take it to a new level and we're going to talk like i said another video but as it sits right now this is where we're going my buddy is coming to get it. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, just giving a little update. I'm gonna do a video when it comes back. It should be a little bit louder, like I said, because we're not gonna have the vibrant resonators anymore. So that's cool. And uh, other than that, I don't know. The whole tone's gonna obviously change. I like the Corsa, but I gotta tell you guys, uh, the fitment thing was a complete turn off. Uh, the customer service, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about all of that and and start spewing hate and issues it's, we're just going to stop there but for for me it's no longer uh wanted on this build maybe in the future who knows but for right now it is no longer 
a, uh, a part of importance on here. And uh, I think the Borla sounds pretty good. I was looking at getting a GT Haas or the uh, PUR exhaust, the, the P-U-R-R exhaust. So we'll see what ends up transpiring down the line. But for right now, this is what we have. And I know some of you have been asking about the wheel and tire setup. I do have 20 by 10 and a half inch Vossen wheels. Uh, tires are the 30535 Nitto NT Tri 5R2s. I don't love them. I don't hate them. I'm very much indifferent on these wheels. I would rather have put Mickey Thompson ET Street SS's, but they're, they're not horrible. Or uh, NT 05Rs. Something a little bit better, but these are these are good. They're not too bad. I am gonna keep these wheels. I was looking at getting welds, but you know I gotta tell you the front brakes just kind of destroy any options. I'm not gonna sit here and start grinding down my calipers, especially after I had the calipers custom painted to match the car. And uh, no, that's not happening. It just looks good, and I don't want to screw anything up. And uh, honestly, it's just not even a necessity right now. I'm not racing this thing, nor do I care to race this thing. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me know in the comment section below what more you want to see. What, what, what would you like to see from the channel? Like I said, I don't want it to just be like, oh, this is my Mopar, and this build, and that build. I got to be honest with you guys. Don't get used to Mopar. Don't get used to any vehicle specific content. It's going to be like a lot of these other YouTubers except a completely different budget because they get a lot of free shit and they are full time YouTubers and you know they're very fortunate and blessed. God bless them. But for me I have uh, very much of a different situation. So I'm going to do what I can do and we're going to have fun and we're going to full send it as much as we can. But the builds will be on a, a, a different type of level. I'm not going to get a car and just like you know, balls to the wall and then get rid of it. It's not going to happen. But anyway, let me know what down below what you want to see. And uh, let's see if we can make some more stuff. Make your dreams come true. I don't know. Giveaways and, and all sorts of stuff. I don't know. What do you, you want to see? What's going to make this channel grow? You're going to tell your friends? You're going to tell your family? You're going to tell your girlfriend? You're going to tell your boyfriend? You're going to tell your auntie, your uncle? You're going to tell your car friend down the street next door? You're going to tell your car friend from across the country? What are you going to do? What do I have to do for you to start telling people about my channel and get my shit noticed? I don't know. Let me know. And we'll all know. And then we're all going to be on the same page. <sighs> stressful, stressful, but exciting. Today's the day. So let's uh, get one last little cold start of this bad boy before the new exhaust setup. Excited though, so damn excited. Well, that's it, guys. The uh, hockey poo is gonna be gone for a couple weeks, so I just wanted to at least just film what I did just to let you know where it was gonna be and that things are coming. Like I said, don't expect too much. I'm gonna have a big YouTube video uh, coming. I don't know, within the next couple months as to why you shouldn't expect too much. But yeah, this is where we're going. We're gonna get a little bit more fun and enjoyment out of this build and we'll see where it takes us. We'll see what kind of uh, information we get. We'll see what we learn. We'll see what we can have as far as fun. But thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, thank you. I appreciate you. Next time, you'll see this not empty. I won't be able to stand here. And we'll have something to talk about. So I'll see you on the next one.